Today we're going to be teaching you how to do a round effect handspring and how to stretch before it. Let's start stretching. First you do shoulders forward five times and backwards five times. Then you have to do neck, so just go up this way and then side to side. Five seconds each way. And seconds here and five seconds there. After that you do butterfly pulses, pike pulses, and straddle pulses. First you're gonna do wrists and like that and that and that and this. And like Stretch out your back. You're gonna just do a bridge. And straighten your legs, try to. It's hard. So let's get started. You want to make sure you have lots of space to run. Now we're just going to be showing you a preview of what you're going to be doing. To do a round of back handspring, you have to know how to do a back handspring. And this is what a back handspring looks like. You want to have a good round off with a rebound. So you're going to run and then you're going to do a round off with a rebound. To practice, you do your round off. And then you could pause, and then you do your back handspring, but you want to have that pause smaller and smaller every time. I'm going to show you what it looks like when you keep, like, pausing, like, smaller every time. And then it's not going to be good the first time you do it, but you have to keep practicing and practicing, and then you'll get better. Something else you can do is you do your round off, and then when you do it, you go right backwards onto a bench so you get the feel of going right to a round off back handspring. You don't have to do that, but that's just to like for practice purposes when you do it. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.